there's different ways when talking about estimating. We either use relative value or absolute value. Relative complexity is easier to judge than absolute ones. Look at these two vehicles, if I ask you which one weights more than the other. Pretty easy, right? But what about, if I ask you to tell me, how many pounds does each one weigh? This is hard, right? Relative estimation means that we judge how big or complex a task is with respect to other tasks. And one of the units of complexity that can be used in this kind of estimation is the story point. So a story point is a number that tells the team about the effort required to implement in a given use of story. One of the important reason to use the story point estimation instead of absolute estimation in hours or days is that the absolute estimation has a kind of an emotional attachment to it. If you estimate the task to take 5 hours and it ended up taking you 10 hours, then what do you tell your manager? Why did you take more time than planned? This could be frustrating for people as it could turn to a blaming game if we are not able to finish tasks within the time frame agreed on. Story point estimation removes this emotional attachment by removing the link that we can have towards time. As explained earlier, story point estimation takes into consideration the effort needed to accomplish a task. An estimate of the effort involved can be influenced by the amount of work to do, the risk and uncertainty, and the complexity in terms of amount of work needed. Consider the task of folding papers in paper plane. The first task is to make 10 planes, and the second task is about making 100 planes, although it's the same actions. And the second task is not more complex than the first one, but still, the second task requires more work and should be given more story points. It probably doesn't get 10 times more points, even though there are 10 times as many paper but it should definitely have more story points. The amount of risk and uncertainty in a user story should affect the story point estimation given to it. If a team is asked to estimate a user story and what needs to be done is unclear, then that uncertainty should be reflected in the estimation. Also if implementing a user story involves changing a particular piece of old code that has no automated tests in place for example, that risk should be reflected in the estimates too. Last thing to be considered when estimating is the complexity. Complexity should also be considered when providing a story point estimation. Think back at the example of folding 100 planes instead of 10. Imagine now that the task is to fold 100 planes and to paint it. In this case, even though we are still holding 100 planes, but there is more complexity to it, and it should be reflected in the story point estimation. In most cases, a story point uses the Fibonacci sequence as a scale for sizing. Some teams will use t-shirt sizing as a measure. Story point estimation is typically performed during the product backlog refinement sessions. And the product backlog is evaluated by the team, who is responsible to turn the product backlog items to read customer's value. The product owner does not contribute to the estimation, but he will have the responsibility to explain what the product backlog items are about. In order to estimate use of stories, each team would have to find one or two baseline stories as a reference. These two stories don't need to be the smallest ones, but this should be ones that everyone within the team understands and can resonate with. Once they find, estimating all other user stories should be done by comparing them to the reference story. So, the team will give the reference story and numbers from the Fibonacci sequence. Then they will take the other user stories, one by one and each time ask, if the user story require more effort than our reference story? If that's the case, then they put it after that user story. Then they'll ask, will it be less effort than the reference story? And if that's the case, then they'll put it before. The team can then proceed and give story points to the other user stories. If it requires twice as much effort as the reference story, then we give it a double amount of story points. If it's twice less, then we give it less. During the estimation session, it is very important to involve everyone in the team 
developers, designers, testers. Each team member brings a different perspective on the product and the work required to deliver a user story. I hope this video gave you a good understanding of story points and why we use relative estimation instead of absolute estimation.